everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Rock Tier Studio, and today I'm sharing with you a video hop, and it is called the Favorite Things, hashtag Favorite Things Hop. We've done a couple of these already last year in 2019 with the Art Joy of Sharing Facebook group, Contributing Artists, and this is another one of those hops. Basically, we uh, Peg sets them up, and she just says, hey, anyone who wants to participate from uh, YouTube video makers, you know, that, that are in our joy of sharing, you guys just talk about your favorite things. And it's a whole bunch of different stuff. I've, I've looked at some of the other videos that people have made, and you're going to get a real grab bag variety of things. Um, I, want, I always want to show art on my channel. I always want to show something that I'm doing and some products that I like or techniques that I like. So that's what I'm doing this, this time. Um, I wanted to talk about these stencils from uh, the designer Trish McKinney, who designs for Stencil Girl products. I am in love lately with these. They're really masks, not stencils. And they're in the shapes of branches and grass and all kinds of natural t things that you see. I love nature stuff, and I just think that these stencils are so easy to use and so fun that I wanted to show them. I don't, I don't have them all. She has a lot of them, and I will have links below the video to her page that she, you can see all the different stencils, and then I'll tell you the links to the three that I used, which were twist, Twisting Beach Grass, Tangled Beach Grass, and Forked Bear Branch Background. But what I'm doing is I have another one of my favorite new things, which is a, a wooden canvas. I bought it at Walmart. It wasn't expensive. This is a 10 by 10. Um, the reason that I like the wooden canvases so much is that they don't squish in the middle when I'm stenciling or collaging, which are two things that I love to do. So I started with uh, Daniel Smith Gold Gesso, which is different and unusual and fun. And then I'm stenciling using these Trish McKinney design stencils over the top, starting with warm colors, starting with my lightest warm colors. And they were Dina Wakely. I believe it was blushing and cheddar. And then I moved to, um, uh, I'm going to, well, at some point I used fuchsia and eggplant. I know that I used um, night towards the end there. And I'm just starting lightest, going darkest, stenciling over the top. And then this last layer with the um, beach grass stencil is the gold again. And that's how I made my interesting background for my collage. As you guys know, if you watch my last favorite things hop video, I love abstract collage. I also love non-abstract collage. I love any kind of collage. It's my favorite, 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 favorite thing. I love to glue paper. Um, I love to make collage elements to glue paper later. Um, this is just what I love. And so I, I had used all very warm, kind of almost orangey goldy colors and reds uh, in the background. So I decided to use the contrasting colors, which would be blues, greens, teals um, for my collage parts. And I'm tearing most of them in circles and then some of them in vertical pieces. These are scraps, just uh, things that are around. Some of them, probably, probably most of them are gel prints. And then there's other little weird stuff like uh, the edge of, a, of a, a piece of paper that used to run through the type of printer that had those little wheels. And you could tear off those little edges. I still have one. I don't know why. Um, I still have a few of those pieces of paper in the drawer that were from days and days ago, months, years ago, when I actually had that type of a printer. <laughs> so um, I've got that. I've got some little uh, bit of a sticker. Uh, at the end, you'll see me put on some washi tape. And those little bits of washi tape were from the package that uh, Peg sent me recently, which had uh, little pans of watercolor in it. And she wrapped them in plastic and then put these little pieces of uh, washi tape on there. And I thought it was really cool washi tape. Plus, I just don't waste anything. So I just stuck all those little pieces along the edge of my table. And I used them on this piece today. So that's just how it goes. Um, because of the gold 
gesso, the Daniel Smith gesso in the background and, you know, all this shimmery stuff that's on my background. I decided to use gloss medium today and I'm using the uh, Deco Art uh, heavy gloss medium. It's in a tube. I think it's from their, uh, is it from their premiums line? I don't know. Anyway, it's in a tube and it's gloss medium, which, so it's kind of a gel in a tube. And the reason that I would use gloss medium as opposed to my normal Liquitex matte gel medium that I always use is because if you put a matte medium over the top of something that's shimmery, it's going to dull the shine because it has mattifying agents in it. It's got something in it that makes it matte, which I usually prefer. That is my preference for collage. I like to use matte. But since I was using this fun Daniel Smith uh, metallic gold gesso, I just went ahead with the gloss medium today. So I'm putting down all my pieces. I'm thinking about balance, composition. I'm thinking about um, just... I don't know, I'm not thinking that much, but I'm spreading out the, the different colors of papers. I'm using the papers in more than one area. So um, I've got the, the yellow one in a few different areas. I've got that one from an envelope, which is kind of a green gold um, envelope that I received recently. I think it had my new dog Mika's little tag in it, actually. Uh, I ordered her a tag that says Mika on the front and then on the back it says our phone number, uh, if she were to get away, get run off, you know, and um, she can't really get out. But if she did and someone found her, they would be able to contact us. So I think it's from that envelope. It's green gold. Green gold's a really beautiful color. Um, yeah, just sticking them on. I've got some uh, music and text paper just for interest. I've got uh, that thing in the middle that's got little triangles on it is the... I cut it off of a sticker that I had that I used recently. It had borders on it and I wanted the borders off. So I cut that off and it, it went there perfectly. So now that I look at this as I'm doing it, some of the other steps that I took towards the end, maybe I shouldn't have done as much because I kind of like the balance here right now. But when I got finished with my collage, I wasn't happy with the balance of light to dark and so I ended up doing some other steps. This piece did take me about 2 hours 45 minutes and this video is supposed to be no longer than 15 minutes. I think it's 16. <laughs> I did my best. So this is a 8 times fast. The entire thing is 8 times fast which is really speedy but I think you can get the gist of what I'm talking about. I, my favorite things being wood paneled canvases being Trish McKinney design stencils, um, of course, being collage and doing things that are abstract, which I'm really into right now. I just, I like it. I just like it. I don't know. Some people hate abstract stuff. and <laughs> I just really, really enjoy it. Even, you know, if it's not my art, if it's someone else's art. So, yeah, I think I'm just almost done um, gluing paper on except for the washi tape as it showed up yet so uh, yeah I guess I'm not done I don't know I go and go and go I, I think this is so fun that um, I don't want to stop <laughs> I could probably cover the entire thing up with uh, with paper because I just enjoy it so much I don't enjoy having the the medium all over my fingers though. It becomes like a layer and then it peels off as entire sometimes entirely one piece. You could probably get my fingerprint from it if you were collecting um, my trash, you know. <laughs> I've been watching too much crime shows. If you were going through my trash looking for DNA evidence for some reason, you could probably get my fingerprint off that stuff because it just peels off. Probably peels some of my skin off too. So these are the little pieces of uh, washi tape that I was talking about that were just stuck along the edge of my table. I decided to put them on because they, they were interesting and they had the right colors. And then I'm just using the last of my medium to 
put it on my finger and press everything down, make sure everything is really sealed in. So that's pretty fun. Now it's time for integration. And I've got the same stencils back out in the same colors. And I'm going over the top to just kind of add those colors back in to the foreground again and make everything blend the back to the front. I end up getting out some of that fuchsia using the Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paints. And then I think I have, I used quinacridone gold from Deco Art, which is uh, from their premium line tube paints. And I think I use, well, obviously I use the Daniel Smith gold and um, maybe one other thing, I'm not sure. But you can see how doing this integrates everything back in together to make it look more like a cohesive piece. But then I said to myself, this is too cohesive. <laughs> it's too cohesive. And then I went a little crazy after that. But sometimes you know when to stop. Sometimes you just keep going and maybe you went past where you would have stopped, but you still end up with something pretty cool. Um, which is what happened with this piece. It's just a fun process. I sat in my studio and worked on this. So this is when I thought, you know what, that background is just, I need it to be lighter. First I thought I needed it to be lighter so that the collage would show. So I used some, um, what's that stuff called? Glazing medium mixed with titanium white. And then I, I wipe it back with a wet baby wipe didn't have the effect that I liked. I thought, yeah, no, I didn't really like that. No. So then I thought, well, maybe I could use some gold because I've got, you know, a lot of gold going on here. So I mixed the gold gesso with the glazing medium and I put some of that on there and wiped it back with the baby wipe and said, meh. So then I thought, well, maybe I need to go darker. <laughs> so I got out the fuchsia again, mixed that with some glazing medium, and I liked that. I thought that looked pretty good. So I decided to do it on the other side as well. And then I decided I needed to make it less, um, I don't know, less harsh maybe. And I needed to add it, do a couple different colors instead of just really only work, focusing on the fuchsia. So I brought back in the night color which is a dark dark blue and of course I've got some dark blue in the foreground in the collage too so um, mix that with glazing medium and if you don't know what glazing medium is it's just a, it's like acrylic paint with no color and it thins down your acrylic paint makes it more like a wash um, or a glaze over the top but um, it doesn't if you use water, you can thin your paint so much that it will not be, it will not adhere to the, the substrate as well. So it's better to use glazing medium. And so that's what I did. Then I decided I would do some mark making over the top. Um, this is another favorite tool of mine, which I haven't gotten out in a while. And I actually need to use them up and then clean them out and, and redo the paint inside. It is a needle nosed applicator. Fine tips, super, super fine. And um, I put uh, fluid paint in it, like either Deco Art Media fluid paint or golden high flow paint in it. And then you can make marks with it. Um, and it, it forces you to be painterly because it's not as precise as a pen and you often see me use a pen and I wanted to do something different. There's no Posca pens here, people. <laughs> I, I'm trying to, uh, this year in 2020, I'm trying to experiment. I'm trying to go back to things that I liked before because I feel like I've been doing the same thing over and over a lot. I've, I've, honed down to things I really like and I keep doing it over and over and I want to I want to go back to just messing around with a lot of different stuff so I'm getting out different things that I know that I like and I just kind of stopped using them um, so I used the white fine tip applicator and the black fine tip applicator to do my mark making and then now I'm just going in and finger painting back over with a little bit of the gold gesso again to integrate everything back together. 
and that is where I finished. Uh, make sure that you go and hop through the rest of the links below the video. When you come back to mine, you will have finished the hop. And uh, make sure to give those ladies some love and some thumbs up and, and uh, me some thumbs up and everyone thumbs up, comments, uh, likes, subscribes, all those things. The last thing I did was a few um, splatters and then I was done. So that's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.